think, you know, the scheme is always based on the people. So again, the people are going to be different. You know, you could try to, you know, everybody's going to do it. They're going to try to look at a body type and try to say, oh, this guy's like this guy they use, and this guy's like this guy they use, which is fine, but the scheme is going to be based on the people. And until I get to know the people here, you know, I don't want to speak for those guys. I haven't really met anybody, everybody there, but like in terms of just the scheme will be reflective of the people and what's needed for that game plan. But you can anticipate it being multiple, if that makes sense, you know. People ask 4334, I say yes. <laughs> I mean, so I answer to both of them. So <laughs> you can say 24, yes, 335, yes. I mean, whatever, whatever number, you, you, however you want to rearrange the front seven, the whole 11, yes. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> and it's funny you mentioned that because mm -hmm. at head coach Joe Judge's press conference, he mm -hmm. talked about customizing the defensive scheme and things as basic as the front, mm -hmm. week to week based on your opponent. So as someone that's going to be teaching this from week to week, what are the challenges to having a variable defense each week based on your opponent? See, no matter what, in terms of the, the structure of the defense, in my opinion, this is my opinion, in terms of the structure of the defense, whether it's, you know, 3-4, 4 how 4-2, uh, if you're talking about nickel, 4-2-5, whatever you want to look at, it comes down to the fundamentals, you know, in terms of stopping the run. You're setting the edge, building the wall. So it doesn't matter how the how the – the people are lined up. When the ball snap, we got to build a wall. We got to make sure we got a good edge. I could, you can set an edge from a 3-4. You can set an edge from a 4-3. Passing game, you got to make sure you're playing your leverage. So whether it's cover one, three, two, whatever it may be, we could play that out of all those groupings. We got to win our leverage and defend the deep part of the field. And then after that, you got to tackle. So, again, is it hard to teach that? Not if you start with the fundamentals. If everybody understands the fundamental, what we're trying to do and who we're trying to take away – then how we deploy the guys in terms of the structure of the defense, I mean, not irrelevant, but I mean, I mean, is we we can figure that out because you gotta give the guys credit, they they do a good job. You gotta think about how much information they gather in one week for one opponent. Then Sunday's over, they have to wipe that clean and get ready for another opponent, still knowing that the tendency for.